Well, welcome uh, to, to your beautiful state house uh, for a beautiful announcement today. This is another collaboration in South Carolina, which is something that we're so good at. And we announced the opening of a, a business in, in Florence yesterday and some other announcements about broadband, but it's all based on collaboration, communication, and cooperation. We have enormous assets in South Carolina that they don't have in other places. And one of the main ones we have is, that, is our people who will work together to get things done. Now we know that we're entering a knowledge-based economy where brain power is a necessity. We have to educate the young people, train the young people to move up into the very fierce competition that is going on in the United States and around the world, especially in the, in the sunny states of which we are one. Everyone wants to come to South Carolina because of a, a lot of great things, the main one being the people. Uh, we have a, a long, long traditions and cultures here that people from other parts of the country and other parts of the world value because that know, they know that if they invest their money here, it will be safe and it will grow because they can depend on the people. But we've got to educate everyone and train them because the competition is getting more and more fierce in the future. We've known for years that higher education is the key. A basic education is essential, but a higher education is the key to the future. And the higher education that is above high school, higher education takes, has a lot of components. And one that has grown so much in, in recent years is in the big industries, in innovation, in technology, IT, all those things, all of which are, are reflected in the area uh, around the Savannah River site. Uh, the, the, the technologies there, the future is wide open, including the Savannah River National Lab, which is, is growing. But our technical college system, we know, is, is the finest, they say, in the United States. So what, what we're doing, and today marks a major announcement, where the Savannah River National, excuse me, Savannah River Nuclear Solutions and Apprenticeship Carolina, which is a part of the technical college system, is collaborating with businesses and industries in the area, as well as the uh, educational, uh, the schools in the area, to form a collaboration that will get our young people trained. Uh, they will have this, this effort will produce at least 300 new apprenticeships that can go to work directly in that area, and that is an area where brain power is at the top of the list. So that's what we're doing today. We've had a number of great announcements in recent months, and this is another one. It's all about education, it's all about the future, and all that is, uh, spells great prosperity for South Carolina. So I'd like to call on Stuart McVean, President and Chief Executive Officer of Savannah River National Nuclear Solutions. Excuse me, Nuclear Solutions. Let's spread out. Thank you very much, Governor. Uh, I'm so pleased to be here this morning. It is an extraordinarily exciting time at the Savannah River site. Uh, we are in the process of hiring into the thousands of people for both new missions as well as to replace uh, individuals that are retiring from 40 years of service uh, at the Savannah River site. Um, quite frankly, this journey started about 18 months ago with a discussion that I was having with a number of individuals from the region, the CSRA, uh, about where are we gonna find this workforce of the future? Where are we gonna develop this workforce? And how are we going to uh, have sufficient manpower to be able to not only staff all the needs at the Savannah River site, but also make sure that the manufacturers in the area have the ability to be able to grow, expand, as well as to be able to develop new partnerships with other companies coming to the state of South Carolina. Uh, so I'm so pleased to, to be able to have supported an effort uh, to be able to announce, uh, partnered with Apprenticeship Carolina, uh, that we've formed a task force uh, of business and industry, schools, government entities in the CSRA, focused on the apprenticeship pipeline to prepare skilled individuals ready for careers at both the Savannah River site as well as uh, all the manufacturers in the CSRA. We've set an ambitious goal for this task force to create 300 registered apprenticeship program, uh, opportunities 
uh, for Aiken, Allendale, Barnwell, and Bamberg counties uh, over the next 10 months. Uh, we want to have that many apprenticeships in place by the end of the government's fiscal year this year, which is uh, October 1 next year. The CSRA Apprenticeship Task Force is led by Apprenticeship Carolina and Denmark Technical College President Dr. Willie Todd. We're so pleased to have uh, him step up to the plate and take on this big role for us. The task force uh, currently includes Aiken Technical College, regional employers, workforce development entities, and some K-12 partners serving Aiken, Allendale, Bamberg, Barnwell, Edgefield, and Orangeburg counties. We see this apprenticeship serving as a great gateway for individuals to enter into the pipeline to support manufacturing and Savannah River site uh, employment opportunities. We've just concluded an eight-month pilot program uh, that we tested through the Aiken Technical College programs uh, that produced 10 new nuclear operations staff that we've uh, employed at Savannah River site. We're now ready to take that and uh, launch that into many more opportunities. Uh, so we're already looking at IT and cyber, uh, as the governor pointed out, uh, as a growing area for us, and, and we need to expand our capability. We really commend Apprenticeship Carolina uh, to, for providing these opportunities and the viable workforce development path. Savannah River State's been a big economic engine in CSRA for 70 years. We plan to be there another 70 years, uh, producing the kind of opportunities uh, that, that exist uh, out there today. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to um, Dr. Tim Hardy, who's the president of the South Carolina Technical College System. Thank you, Stuart. Uh, I appreciate the comments by the governor and Stuart as well. Uh, the governor made a point of mentioning the South Carolina Technical College System as the uh, premier technical college system in the country, and he's the governor, so I will make a point of not arguing with him, <laughs> but just agreeing with his comments on that. Uh, I would share with you in terms of today, the technical college system, many of you are familiar with, we uh, have 16 colleges across the state about 100,000 students that are actually in classes today, and we uh, serve those South Carolinians. We are part of the higher education system in South Carolina, but we also are not just a part of the higher education system. Our mission is workforce development, and that workforce development is what we do and really why we're here today, because the workforce development leads to economic development. And then for our citizens in South Carolina, economic development leads to quality of life. And there are five million people in the state of South Carolina. Our mission is to improve that quality of life for the citizens of the state. Uh, many of you are familiar with our Ready SC as a part of the South Carolina Technical College system. Forty years ago, that was Michelin. Twenty-five years ago, that was BMW. And about ten years ago, that was Boeing. But it's interesting that while we talk about 40, 25, and 10 years ago, that still continues today. Uh, there's a, a piece that at uh, yesterday, our folks with Red ESC were working with the Walmart Distribution Center in Dorchester County, that's a thousand jobs. Uh, up in Rock Hill, there's an arrival, a London-based electric bus company, that's another 250 jobs. And here in Columbia, where we are today, uh, White Claw is starting a manufacturing facility that will be about 300 jobs. So. Even though it was 40 years ago when Ready SC began, it continues. But today, the other part of our technical college system office is Apprenticeship Carolina. And what we'll be doing in partnership with Savannah River Nuclear Solutions. We're looking forward to it. I did want to take a moment to recognize uh, it's great that the governor and Stewart and I and others are making comments today about how we're excited. But after today, it becomes work. And I wanted to recognize three members of our, our staff with the Apprenticeship Carolina, uh, Amy Firestone, Kirsten Pratt, and Nicole Bentley, because after today, they'll make this a reality. And that's the part that becomes how do we uh, improve that quality of life for citizens of the state. 
I would just close with recognizing I appreciate Dr. Todd and folks from Denmark Tech being here today, as well as Representative Steve, I know from Aiken Technical College. We uh, look forward to working as a system. The governor started his comments about collaboration. That's why, as a state, South Carolina is so successful. And I'll add to that, the next speaker is Danny Black, president of the Southern uh, Carolina Alliance, and look forward to hearing from him. Danny. Thank you, sir. I'm probably the most thrilled person to be here. Uh, <laughs> 25 years ago, we started the Southern Carolina Alliance. It represents Allendale, Barnwell, Bamberg, Beaufort, I'll get this right now, Colleton, Hampton, and Jasper counties. And over the past 25 years, we've been able to bring some jobs and opportunities to our rural area. Jobs and training have always been the number one goal that we needed to attack. Uh, we had people that were coming through the system that went to other places like Charleston, Greenville, as uh, Dr. Hardy mentioned, with some of the other companies, and we couldn't keep them in the local area. In the past few years, we've had some companies come in with the help of our fantastic governor, uh, locating uh, some industries there that are going to keep people in the area. Now we've got to get them prepared, and now we've got to get the future prepared so we can go out and be in com uh, competitive uh, for the industries that are looking in our part of the state as well as as part of the country. Um, Dr. Todd, I know you, you're going to get a lot of accolades. You're going to get a lot more after today. I want to uh, press upon Denmark Tech their uh, stance and, and solid, uh, aggressive style that we're going into now about trying to get the training that we need in the local area to make sure this happens. He's going to start a program in February, I believe it is now, that we're going to select 100, 125 uh, students that go through Manu first uh, with state support. Uh, coordinating Council with the workforce uh, is working with us on that. And the whole idea is to make sure our people are prepared. They may have never stepped into a manufacturing environment, but here they'll have a chance to do that, and they'll be prepared and experienced to get those jobs as they come available. This is extremely exciting because uh, 25 years ago I was working with SRNS uh, through another contractor name at the time uh, when we were laying off 10,000 people and then it became 12,000 people. Today we're back to where we need to be and they're hiring and that is a fantastic opportunity. This gives you the ability to go out and get our local folks into a type of program that prepares them not only for the jobs at SRS, but with the spillover, there's going to be uh, people prepared now in the pipeline working through this system that will be prepared to go to work for Swiss Chrono, Tyco, um, the new Agricultural Technology Center. And, and Tim, I appreciate what you said about all these companies, but uh, they're going to hire 1,500 folks, and your folks are already there planning on uh, getting this started in Hampton County, and we certainly appreciate that. Uh, this is a great opportunity. We're thrilled to death. We want to help as a region any way we possibly can, and it makes my job a whole lot easier to bring industry in, uh, and we appreciate it very much. Let me... I want to talk about two stars before I leave here, Governor. One is the retired Dr. Alford, and uh, there he is over there in the corner wearing that mask, and y'all can tell him to remove that any time. <laughs> he is a retired educator. He knows what it takes uh, to get things done. He did that in Aiken County, and he's done that in other places. I also want to uh, recognize and introduce a rising star in our region. Uh, she came into Allendale County. As everyone knows, Allendale has been challenged over the years. Uh, most of my lifetime absolutely has been challenged somewhat to make sure that our schools are producing the types of individual students we need. Uh, Dr. Gilmore has come in and taken that bull by the horns and is making tremendous strides. And we appreciate her being in Allendale, and we're trying to get her sign on for a lifetime uh, of in here. Uh, so y'all help me with that. Uh, uh, money's no object, I know, but, uh, but we'd like to keep Dr. Uh, uh, Gilmore in the area as, as long as we possibly can. So with that, I'm going to introduce Dr. Margaret Gilmore and Allendale School System. Thank you. Thank you. Governor McMaster and Mr. McVeigh, thank you for the opportunity to join this celebration. This morning is a great day for school districts across the state of South Carolina. We are thrilled that Savannah River Nuclear Solutions has helped to develop a notable blueprint that other companies, businesses, 
and industries can model by taking a forward-looking approach and investing in the future of our students. Your vision is aligned with the profile of a South Carolina graduate, ensuring that every student graduates ready for college, career, and citizenship. As a school leader in Allendale, South Carolina, I believe this apprenticeship challenge will provide opportunities for our students to experience on-the-job training and first-hand exposure to work-based learning. Gaining access to apprenticeship opportunities like these, especially in small rural districts, would truly be a game changer. For our students, apprenticeship means the development of career skills that will last a lifetime. That's impact. This altruistic vision of an apprenticeship initiative for youth, the unemployed, and the underemployed would definitely serve as a conduit in expanding career options for our students, as well as strengthen the South Carolina's workforce and promote economic mobility. School districts across the state are primed to benefit from this apprenticeship program. And this morning, we applaud the coalition's efforts in spreading awareness about the impact this program will have on our students. Not just our students, but in their academic, personal, and professional pursuit. On behalf of the K-12 systems across the state, we look forward to the robust partnerships as businesses open career pathways and close skill and wage gaps for our students, especially students in rural areas of our state. Thank you so much for having us. At this time, Senator Young. Thank you, Dr. Gilmore. You know, having a good job helps solve a lot of problems in society. And I want to applaud this team that's been put together with Apprenticeship Carolina, the Technical College System, Savannah River Nuclear Solutions, and the other employers in our region who will participate in this program. This is a game changer, as Dr. Gilmore said, for families and citizens in this multi-county region. And we want to continue to grow the workforce in South Carolina. We want this to be a model that other regions in the state can use so that we can see the success that we anticipate for this program to be um, duplicated across the state as we make South Carolina's workforce the best that it can be for the 21st century. On behalf of the Aiken County Legislative Delegation and the legislative delegations of the other counties in our region, I want to thank this team for what they've done for our citizens. We look forward to working with the governor and the technical college system and these employers to improve the quality of life for all of those living in South Carolina and in our region. At this time, I recognize Governor McMaster for questions. Does anyone have a question for anyone? Yes, sir. Uh, governor, maybe it's better suited for Stuart. I'll let him answer. Yes, sir. <laughs> So the answer is collaboration. So see, that's your, your buzzword these days, <laughs> collaboration. It's the collaboration of a number of different entities that when you bring them all together can leverage all the parts that they bring separately into one combined program that, that is going to make a much bigger difference. Uh, I can tell you that we've had uh, individuals that have come forward uh, from different groups and said, we can't quite figure out how to make this work. But with, with this team, they're going to be able to figure out how to make it work. So it's just a little bit different than the MOUs that we have with the uh, higher education institutes uh, that we also have in place. And that will start to become a part of the overall apprenticeship program. Thank you. More questions? Governor, can we also have an answer just more about the training uh, aspect of the scheduling, like how, how many people are going to be training, what the training process will be like? 
So I'll, okay. I'll come back in and answer that. Uh, thank you very much. Um, so our target is to have uh, 300 folks uh, in this program uh, by October 1st next year. Uh, I'm, I'm going to say it, it, it's an earn while you learn kind of program. Uh, you work part time, you go to classes at school part time, there's some on the job learning that, uh, that also is part of that. Uh, so you have a part time ability to earn money while at the same time uh, that you're going to school to get a nationally recognized certificate that will allow you to not only work in South Carolina but have opportunities elsewhere in the country. Uh, we're going to focus uh, as we start out uh, around some of our core uh, competency skill set issue requirements uh, that really focus around nuclear operations and maintenance and uh, security and IT, uh, IT and cybersecurity, excuse me, uh, be where our primary focus is. Uh, we do have quite a bit of um, um, control system IT that we uh, perform at the site. We've already got a number of folks that are going to enter into our program to become part of that IT network. And I would add to that a lot of the things, a lot of the seeds that were planted in steps taken years ago are, are really paying off for us now. A technical college system was created about 60 years ago. 60 years. And it is now 16 different institutions, and they just uh, there's enormous success. And apprenticeship, apprenticeship Carolina was what about 40? About about 20. About, about 20, 20 years, and there've been started. thousands yeah. of, of uh, young people and and some older people go through that. But this is this is, we're going. This is another step in a, another area, another dimension to to go into this uh, this, this nuclear area and the cyber area and the IT and all the manu advanced manufacturing that's going on. We announced an advanced uh, manufacturing campus at USC Aiken uh, recently. That's just uh, another collaboration. So in, we, we have some advantages over other states and that is we've built these institutions and these processes, they're established. Uh, we know how to use them and when we can put them all together, we really uh, present uh, qu quite a powerful punch and that's what you see happening today in yet another area. Any more questions? Thank you for coming.